Hi, I'm Agent Davis, and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your Breville Blucer. Here's what you'll need. The Blucer and all of its included accessories, a glass to enjoy the final product, and plenty of delicious ingredients. If you're not sure what ingredients to get, Breville's website has a ton of recipes. You can use one of those, try one of your own, or experiment with the fruits and vegetables you already have. Before we get started, let me call out a few things. First, the Breville does more than juice. It can also blend. Put them together and you get blucing. The beauty of blucing is after you've made your own fresh juice, you can blend in things like ice, yogurt, or berries to turn it into a smoothie. So instead of having two appliances, a juicer and a blender, this one space-saving device can do both. The one-touch program buttons make it easy to use. I'm going to show you how to make some really great juice with the Breville Blucer, how to blend, and finally, how to bluce. But before you start experimenting, be sure to wash and dry all of the components before you use it for the first time. And while it's tempting to pitch your user manuals these days, be sure to keep the juicing speed selection guide. It really comes in handy when you're working with a variety of ingredients. Okay, let's make some magic. To start, make sure your unit is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Now place the filter bowl surround on top of the motor base. Align the arrows on the base of the filter basket with the arrows on the motor base. Go ahead and push down until you hear a click. Put the juicer cover over the filter bowl surround with the chute pointing towards the back of the machine. Lift the safety locking arm up and push it into the two grooves that are on the side of the juice cover. If you've done it correctly, it should be standing straight up, like this. Insert the food pusher down the food chute and make sure the notch is aligned correctly. Now, angle the pulp container under the juicer cover on the back and push it towards the back of the machine. The edge of the pulp container should now fit under the lip of the filter bowl while the bottom of the pulp container clips to the bottom of the motor base. And here's a tip. You can use a biodegradable bag inside the pulp container to make cleanup a little easier. Then push the drip stop plug over the juice outlet nozzle, making sure the plug faces the same direction as the nozzle. If you've done this correctly, the plug should go into the nozzle when it's folded up. If you're going to make just one glass of juice like we are, insert the juicing nozzle onto the outlet, then place a glass under the nozzle. For larger batches, instead of using the juicing nozzle, place the lid on the blender jug. Now insert the juice outlet nozzle into the blender jug. And just like that, you're ready to make your own fresh juice. Plug in your blucer and turn the power on. Now select your speed for the fruits and vegetables you're going to use. This is where that speed guide comes in super handy. Wait for the juicer to reach the speed you've selected before putting your ingredients in. Once it's reached the appropriate speed, you can go ahead and lift the food pusher out of the food chute and add your first ingredient. Slowly push the item down the chute with the pusher. It's important to go slowly so your blucer can get as much juice out as possible. Before putting in your next item, Double check that you've selected the appropriate speed before lifting the food pusher out of the chute and adding your next ingredient. Then push your next ingredient down slowly with the pusher. You can repeat this process until all of your ingredients have been juiced. Then, when you're ready, turn your blucer off and unplug it. If you use the blender jug to make a larger quantity, carefully pull it away from the juicer. Now insert the drip stop plug into the juice outlet nozzle to prevent it from dripping, and you're ready to enjoy your fresh homemade juice. It's even easier to use your blucer as a blender. First, make sure the blucer is turned off and unplugged. Now, place the blender jug onto the motor base, lift the safety locking arm up, and push it into the two grooves that are on the side of the blender jug so that it's standing upright, like this. Now it's time for your ingredients. Go ahead and put them into your blender jug. Just make sure your items don't go over the max line. Now, put the blender lid on top of the jug and check that it's secure and sealed. Insert the inner measuring lid into the blender lid and make sure the spout cover is down and clipped into place to prevent anything from coming out. Plug in your power cord and turn your Breville on. 
Now you have four settings to choose from. Press Smoothie to add air to your ingredients to create a smooth texture. Use the Pulse Ice Crush setting to chop food or crush ice. And here's a tip. If you're blending without any additional liquid, you'll only need about 10 ice cubes. The Frozen Cocktail setting is great for ice-based drinks like margaritas, daiquiris, and slushies. This will feel more intuitive as you get used to using your blucer, but in general, the first speed is for combining delicate food and has more of a folding motion. The highest speed at five is for breaking down ingredients for sauces, dressings, and other mixtures that require really fine blending. Once your ingredients are blended, press the power button to turn it off and unplug your Breville. Now move the safety locking arm down and lift the blending jug off the motor base. Open the spout cover until it locks in place, pour out the liquid, and it's drink time. I also talked about blusing at the start of this video. It's a really nice feature that combines the ability to juice as well as blend and make some really amazing smoothies. To bluse, make sure your Breville is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Then place your ingredients into the blender jug, making sure that you don't have items over the max line. Set up the unit just like you would for juicing and juice your ingredients. But here's the difference. Once you're done juicing, configure your Breville for blending and blend your juice together with, for example, yogurt or fresh berries. Take it from me, it tastes fantastic. And if you can find a better way to get your kids to eat their vegetables without a fuss, I'd love to hear it. Finally, there's an auto-clean setting. To auto-clean your blender, add two cups of warm, soapy water. Auto-clean works best if you do it right after using the blender. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.